All right, Cassidy, whenever you're ready, go ahead. Disney, one of the most powerful and well-known businesses in the world, has been following social norms since their creation. But it wasn't until recently that they started showing their support for societal modernization. Through this support, Disney has had a major impact on their viewers' morals and beliefs. Some ways the industry aims to appeal to a larger audience is through modernizing empowerment, relationships, parental expectations, and the format of film within their films. First came the change of empowerment. Older films encouraged the attitude of damsels in distress. This eliminated the chance of women believing they could be independent. It reflected the 30s and 40s very accurately, the suppression of women's possibilities. Unfortunately, these films now are frowned upon as moral guides because they have negative subliminal messages. To match with today's ideals, Disney has created empowered women through characters like Tiana and Merida. Both women were faced with problems, but found inner strength to help them find a solution. They didn't need a man. Another aspect of empowerment that has changed is the empowerment of age. Since the start of times, kids have had older role models to look up to. This gave them the message that one day you'll be able to save the world. It eliminated the chance of children seeing themselves as able to make a change now. But now kids are being given the chance to be heroes in their life. An example of Disney's support of this is their creation of Moana. Moana is only 16 years old when she has to take charge and overcome struggles that are due to her age. She has inexperience with sailing and she feels immaculate to Maui, her older counterpart. But she overcomes these struggles and saves her village. The subliminal message of this film is no matter what age, you too can make a change. Second is the concept of true love. It was re-innovated. One of their most famously recognizable traits, older movies are only shown as a man and woman obtaining true love through a romantic setting, but now society encourages all sorts of relationships. By encouraging all sorts of relationships, Disney has also conformed to the limitless meaning of love. We see this demonstrated through the film Frozen. Frozen shows us the importance of family and friend relationships, sometimes even being more important than romantic relationships because it's often unconditional. Not only did Disney show support of outside relationships, but they also have began showing importance of self-love. Wreck-It Ralph successfully shows the journey of self-love, portraying the idea that too often people search for love from others when they don't even love themselves. Third, we see the successful integration of different parental roles. Yes, older movies incorporated dead parents and absent parents, but they failed to show the switched roles. Mothers were always taking care of children, and fathers work to provide. Now Disney has encouraged fathers to not have to be dominating the household and muscling and not understanding. They use fathers like Marlin from Nemo to teach children the differing parental expectations. Marlin shows us that fathers can be worried, caring, understanding, and protecting. Lastly, the formatting of films have been modernized to better fit preferences. Once Disney focused on only hand-drawn films, such as Atlas in Wonderland, this obviously came with the times and lack of technology. Now CGI is preferred. With the release of Princess and the Frog, a recent hand-drawn film came a $267 million income, whereas the CGI film Frozen brought in a $1.34 billion income. Live action films also have become popular as we see the release of many of them now. Clearly, Disney has been keeping up with societal trends since the start, but this isn't a negative change. Society's modernization has affected almost all parts of Disney films to better fit the times. All right. Thank you, Cassidy. Questions? Whoa. I heard a yawn. <laughs> so, um, you've highlighted uh, many different uh, changes that Disney films have undergone over the years. Um, in your opinion, do you do you think uh, any of the, what do you think is the most important of these changes and why? Um, I probably wouldn't pinpoint a certain change. Um, just the overall aspect of subliminal messaging to the kids, mm -hmm. because that's kind of where our future is. Mm -hmm. So if we keep on having like negative messages, that's how they're going to be impacted. So just changing in general to have positive messages, so mm -hmm. they become better. Do you anticipate any other 
see any other possible changes that could be on the horizon? Um, maybe. I think um, probably homosexual relationships will be mm -hmm. integrated in there. Um, more of the LGBTQ community, um, just to show support with that. There's been mm -hmm. like controversy about different little films, but mm -hmm. I think that they will probably have a, like a set character for that. Yeah. Any other questions? All right, thank you, Cassidy.